We're up on the roof of the house. The roof is designed to actually hold about eight inches of soil um, on top of the black membrane that you see here. It's like why is the most precious part of a enclosure, like the roof, you know, so exposed to sunlight? It's no wonder that we have to replace a roof almost every 12, 15 years because the sun actually is very damaging. It, uh, it, uh, it produces so much ultraviolet light that it takes the you know the rubber compounds apart in in the membrane so so therefore we go like oh we have to replace the roof when you actually put vegetation on the roof you don't have to do that the soil will have uh, natural grasses planted in it and that uh, structure is called a green roof and that provides a number of benefits to us one of them is that uh, in the summertime the soil and grass will actually keep the house much cooler, in fact 30 or 40 percent cooler. When the sun hits the vegetation it actually hits the soil and then the soil starts to transpire and it's much like our own skin. You know when we transpire we actually uh, we discharge a lot of heat and therefore cool ourselves down with uh, transpiration. So, so it's the same thing with the, uh, with the green roof. Well in the winter we get the benefit of extra insulation as well where that soil provides more insulation which keeps the inside of the house uh, a little bit warmer. And of course when you're really into thinking about you know birds and so on it actually you know replaces the soil that you have taken away by actually building the house and that so so you could also have a choice on what kind of uh, vegetation you put up there that actually helps birds and and you know you can put strawberries up there and and all kinds of things that uh, you know birds really like. Mm -hmm.